Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am back today with a really big good haul. So I haven't really been sourcing too much. Um, if you guys have seen some of my other videos, you would see I have not been sourcing that much because I'm letting my cousin work on my death pile which has it's not really like a pile because it's even worse than a pile it's hung up mixed in with the other inventory that has been photographed so what i've been doing is going through all the inventory and seeing like what hasn't been photographed like what isn't up for sale on ebay and then she is going ahead and taking pictures and it is shocking shocking how much inventory i have found that way so um it's like at about maybe like 200 pieces that haven't been listed, which is so crazy to me. So we've been working on that, so I haven't really been sourcing. But we're almost down to like, I want to say there's probably like 20 or 30 pieces left. So I was like, let me source because when she does finish all that, she's going to need stuff. And I and I rather have like fresh inventory, even though it kind of is already fresh. But I want, I, you know, I don't want to stay out of the sourcing game. So I have been going sourcing. I have some great stuff I want to share with you guys. So let's just get this started. Um, I never frequent the Salvation Army. Um, pretty much, I don't like going. I think it gets very aggressive. The people there get really aggressive that are waiting to go in. And the best time to go is in the morning. And there's lots of pushing and shoving. So much so, so that this location I go to, ha now they don't have like the carts in the front of the store. They have to like push the carts all throughout the store because um, there was too many fights. People were falling over. People were getting injured. So I don't really like going to that. It makes me very nervous and anxious. And so I try to stay away from that. Um, but I decided I'm going to go and I didn't go like right when the crowd went in. I went in a few minutes later and I don't really know what people there are sourcing because they're definitely not sourcing what I'm sourcing because even like towards 1130 when I was finishing up, I was there for like an hour and I was there for an hour and then I had to wait in line for 30 minutes. Um, so like nearing that end of the time I was there, there was still stuff I was finding. So I don't really know what people are sourcing for there, why it's so crowded and why people are pushing and shoving, but they're not sourcing what I'm sourcing. So that's good. Um, yeah. They have these like garbage bag styles. Like look at how heavy this is. It's really heavy. It's really big. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna jump in. I'm so excited. My cousin's not probably gonna be excited. Well, she likes to work, so she's gonna be excited too, but it is a lot of pieces, you guys, and everything was half off. So I'm gonna just start off with the first thing I pulled out, which is this Jams World. I have not found Jams World in forever. It's like this Hawaiian shirt, and it's a perfect timing because it's right in the summer. But it's Jams World. Um, like I said, I've not found it in a long time. And it is, it was $6.99 less 50% off. So it was $3.50. Which to me, I don't think that's awful. And I absolutely hate, that's another reason I didn't like sourcing at the Salvation Army. I absolutely hate, absolutely hate how they staple the things. Like, why would you staple this? Look at this. The staple goes all the way through to the actual shirt. So I'm going to remove that myself before my cousin gets here to start photographing because, you know, if you have to be very careful and I don't want anything to happen to any of this stuff. So next is this Eileen Fisher tunic and it's like a button down. I sell these all the time. This one's in good condition and it is a really nice blue color. This was $9.99. So it came out to $4.99. So for Eileen Fisher, I'm perfectly fine paying that, especially a size large okay okay and then i got an anthropology which for this was 350 mauve is that mauve or mave i don't really know how to pronounce it but it was um 350 and it's like a really pretty floral top i love this top it's really pretty it has like um some lace detail it's like peasant style really trendy for summer then this is a brand a lot of people may not know but they did do a collection with Target and it was a really cute collection this is not the collection that's for Target but it was only two dollars and fifty cents and I have sold a dress this brand um let me see if I can let me actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it off and I don't have a stapler remover um I want to show you guys because this isn't probably a brand that people would have seen very often so I want to make sure that because that's why people watch these hauls is to learn about new brands so I just want to make sure that I can show you properly the tag because this brand has sold 
pretty well for me. Um, you know, a consistent like $20 seller. I, I sold a dress or a shirt or something recently for it. Um, so that's always nice. Let me see. Is this silk? I don't think it's silk, but I still want to check. No, it's polyester, yeah. But anyway, look at how cute it is. It's like a little palm. At first, I thought this was going to be Lily Pulitzer, but it wasn't. But it's really pretty. And this is what the tag looks like. Macbeth collection. They did like bags or something like that with Target. I can't remember what exactly they did, but it was a really cute collection. And the stuff sells pretty decently, at least for me. Um, next is this Halston Heritage. Um, Halston Heritage sells pretty well for me. And this is like a tunic. This is what the tag looks like. It's like a tunic kind of thing. It's probably like a dress, actually. Um, and it's really pretty colors. Really nice for like the beachy time. And it was $5, so that was good on that. This is also an anthropology. Came out to $3.50. Um, and it's just... Oh, this one's an easy one to take off. Let me take it off. I, I prefer them to like put the staple. They're going to staple on the tag. Which I know why they do it. I feel like they do it because if not, like if it's just a regular tag, sometimes people will like try to rip off the tag. Like some places won't sell you stuff that doesn't have a tag. I don't know if they do that here or not. But anyway, it's um, Anthropology and it's Postmark, that little mailing st uh, stamp. I love that. But it's like an Aztec print geometric style. And if you guys also pay attention to like when I'm saying what I sourced. I also am like kind of, um, hi, hello, why am I blurry? Am I still blurry? <laughs> I'm not blurry anymore. Um, but yeah, so I can't remember what I was saying. I can't remember. But anyway, that was anthropology and it was 350. Um, okay, this one was also $3.50, and I only picked it, this up. This, oh, yay, good. They put it on the tag again. Um, I only picked this up because it was in really good condition, and it's so pretty. And this brand is hit or miss for me. I have definitely sold my share of this brand. Uh, where are you going? Ow. These staples. I need to get a stapler remover. Um, but see, it's like in the tag, so then I can't show the tag, which this is, I could have just said it, but whatever. Um, White House Black Market. Look at how pretty this shirt is. And it's like an excellent condition. It has rhinestones. Look at how pretty it is. It's all rhinestone. The back is not rhinestone. So I don't know. I thought this was really cute and that it would sell easily. Um, especially because that's like a brand that people like to buy and stuff. So I have to keep taking off these tags. So this one's easy to take off also perfect this one has a double staple you have to throw those staples away my dogs can't get a hold of that this is olive and oak and this one um it came out to 250 this was the tag that was on it okay camera you don't want to focus obviously not it was 250 because it was half off am i blurry again Having lots of technical difficulties today. Oh no, okay, there I am. Um, Olive and Oak, I do sell this brand really well. Um, I've had plaid shirts from them before and they sold easily for like $20, which is really surprising to me because this isn't like a crazy brand or anything. But um, why not for $2.50? Even though I could sell it for $15 or $20, bucks. still a nice sale in my opinion. Oh geez, I have to keep taking these tags off so I can show you guys. It's fine, it's helping me. Um, okay, just a little background on this brand. This is uh, definitely hit or miss. Some styles are hit or miss. But this color, and I recommend learning your colors properly. Um, it always comes in handy. But this color is considered, I did not know this, until I was actually ordering this shirt. Which, if you guys see, it says Andreo's Luxury Closet, which is the name of one of my companies. Aren't these shirts so cute? Look how cute they are. Really, really cute. They're really comfortable and loose. I got a bunch of them. Um, but anyway, standard James Purse. 
Um, this pink color is not just regular pink. The dogs just want to say hi because they know I'm filming. Um, this is not regular pink. It may appear to be regular pink, but does anybody know what exactly this pink is called? It is called Millennial Pink, which I guess it's called Millennial Pink because it's like such a new shade of pink. Like it's not pink, but it's not nude. It's not blush. It's like blush, but it's called Millennial Pink. So I'm going to put that in the title and see what happens. But I love that color. That's why I picked it up. Um, this brand I never really pick up, but I did pick this brand up. Um, it doesn't sell well for me, which... It's just weird to me because this brand sells well for a lot of resellers that I'm always seeing it. It's never sold well for me. It's not like one of those things that somebody will comment and be like, oh, it's because you are divulging all the secrets and selling everyone brands. No, it's not one of those things because this hasn't sold well for me since I picked it up the first time like a year and a half ago, two years ago. It just doesn't sell well for me. Um, and this is Soma. But I did pick it up because it was only $3 and it's like a striped cardigan i don't know maybe maybe it'll go well we'll see i'll let you guys know i have high hopes maybe next is this j jill that is new with tags so j jill new with tags is always a plus and it's a size large it was originally 79 dollars and size large and they only had it priced at nine dollars which shocks me because usually like if they see new a tag uh forever 21 they will put it like a dollar under however much it said so that really shocked me maybe they just didn't notice that it was new with tags they must have not noticed it was new with tags and i know that because they usually cross out how much it was but anyway so this came out to four dollars and fifty cents and for j jill $4.50 new with tags. It's definitely a hit for me. I don't usually pick up J. Jill, but like I said, new with tags, I will pick it up. Um, and it's like a really pretty floral button down. Really, it's like lightweight, really nice. Next, again, this is another one of those brands that I don't usually pick up, but it was only $7, so it was $3.50, and I really liked the pattern on this. Um, they have really, I know about this brand, not necessarily because of the women's, it's vacinable, I can't pronounce it, but I know about it because the men, because Eddie, I always am buying him, um, shorts and shirts from this brand, but I've never really seen it in women, but I love this pattern, it's like striped, but with flowers, and it's a button down, I don't know, I just, I fell in love with the pattern, so I was like, I'm gonna try it out and see. You guys, my favorite brand to sell ever i don't even have to say it i don't think i don't i don't really think i have to tell you guys um yes if you guessed before i'm saying it it is the brand i'm gonna give you guys a second to think because it's being covered by the tag it was only five dollars so it came out to 250 yes i will be glad for you to price ralph lauren at 30 dollars and this brand at 250 after the sale so it was only why are you focusing on that don't focus on that because i want to show you guys how cheap this came out it was only 250 and it is equipment yes and it's a really cute um it's actually polka dots it's like yellow or like lime green with polka dots and then it ties in the front really sweet i love it i love it so much Yes, it's a small size, but that's okay. Oh, and this I was pretty stoked about finding also because it was only three fifty. Three fifty. Mm, maybe I should go right here. It was only three fifty after the sale, and I never find this brand. And this looks like so psychedelic. Did I just say psychedelic? I think I just said psychedelic. Somebody slap me, please. Um, anyway, it's Joseph Ritklaff, Rit, whatever. I never find this brand. I've only found this brand a few times. But look at this. Look at this. Doesn't this remind you? I am like the weirdest person you will ever meet. One of the weirdest people you ever meet, I promise you that. Um, doesn't this remind you of something one of the characters from Scooby-Doo would wear? Or Clueless? I don't know. I don't know. It just does. Look, look at this. Look at this belt. That's like gold. I don't know. I love it. 
Anyway, that was weird. Um, okay, next item. What's that noise? It's weird. Oh no! Why didn't I notice this? The staple has caused it to have a rip. You see that? There's like a little hole. It's okay, it's up top maybe. No, that's a hole. This is why, like, why would they do this? Oh, gosh. Didn't somebody else, I saw a video once of somebody, like, going in and telling them something about this. Oh, it did leave two little holes. Is this a big deal? Are these two little holes a big deal? Or I could still, I think I could still sell it. I think it's fine. It's Vince. It's very lightweight, though. Maybe that's why. It caused that to happen, but it's really cute. It's hot pink and it's just like a little tea and it was only two fifty, so I picked it up. I'm still gonna sell it. It'll be fine. People usually aren't that petty to complain about that. Okay, and I did find equipment again, but this one does have a little stain. I'm gonna show it to you guys. This is equipment and it only came out to, they priced this one a little higher, okay. And it comes out to $4.50. Um, and I sold equipment before when it has like just a little. See, like it has like a little thing. I don't even know if you could see it. It's like right there. This will still sell though. That's like very insignificant. It won't sell for like what an excellent condition one would sell for. But it's fine. It'll sell for still like 30 bucks, Which is still good. Come on. I'm gonna ruin my nails. Sorry guys. I hate to do this during the video, but my cousin is about to be here. And she doesn't really like when I'm in the way. And I don't really like being in her way either. So I like to like be out of my office and like, you know, on the couch listening. She doesn't really mind if I'm like here, like on the computer but like if I'm like in the middle of doing a video and she's trying to photograph she's like what's happening why are you doing this um okay this one's covering the tag so I need to take it off for sure okay all right this one's really cute I love this sky blue color look at how pretty this light blue is and it is Eileen Fisher. Is this organic cotton or linen? Let me see. Um, it looks like it would be like organic something. I don't know why. Shoot, does it have a tag? Hmm. No, it doesn't say. It doesn't say what it's made out of. And the tag is ripped out. Darn. It feels like it's cotton. I feel like this is part of their organic cotton. I don't know why. I just like have that feeling. Next piece. I did pick this up because it was in excellent condition. It was a little pricey. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this up. What time is it? Maybe I shouldn't have picked this up. Um, no, it's in excellent condition. It was a uh, 450 because it was $8.99 originally. And it is Banana Republic, and it's this button-down. It's a really pretty plaid. So, and it's in excellent condition, so I figured let's give it a shot. I haven't really done too much Banana Republic recently. I think these are Valentine's Day. These are Valentine's Day LuLaRoe leggings, uh, tall and curvy. But they're hearts, so wouldn't somebody want them year-round? And these came out really cheap. That's why I didn't leave them behind. They were only $2.50. And I feel like hearts are like a year-round thing. It doesn't just need to be Valentine's Day to wear hearts, right? Those are cute year-round. You can wear that with like a black or white shirt. Oh, this was a good find also. I feel like this video is going on forever. Um, this was only $2.50, you guys. Only $2.50. I was so excited when I saw this. And it's so pretty. It's like one of their off-the-shoulder styles really pretty I think it's off the shoulder yeah it's off the shoulder it's probably a new style it's a size small um, but it is Lily 
So Lily is always really fun to find. I love finding me some Lily. Oh, this was also a good find. You guys, I have not been. I'm not going to go every week. I'm going to go like every two weeks. Not every week though. And this one, I couldn't believe how cheap this one was. This one was only um, $3.50. You guys are going to freak when you see this. Come on. Okay, whatever. It was $3.50. You guys are going to freak. It is not St. John. It is like St. John's best friend. Exclusively Miss Souk. I love selling this brand. The last little, I don't find it often. And that's green. Oh, St. Patrick's Day is too close. But um, I don't find it often, but when I do find it, I get super excited because the last one I had sold for like $70. And as I only paid $350. How amazing is that? This is really cute. I was really excited. Oh, no, please don't rip through silk. I was really excited when I found this because it's so pretty. And I've been selling a ton of this brand lately. I don't know, like, what it is. But lately, people have just been dying to um, to buy this brand from me, which I'm not complaining. Um, okay, so it's like this super pretty summery vibe. Like, look at how pretty these flowers are. And it is Joie. So it is Joie, size medium. Really pretty. That was exciting. And again, $2.50. This brand, this is definitely going to be a brand that not a lot of people have heard of, but it is a brand that I have sold a few times, and it's a brand that always yields a nice little profit for me. Um, so this was $3.50, and it is this brand Tizzy, and it sold pretty fast the last time I had this. And it's basically, um, I don't know where it's from exactly, but it's called Tizzy. That's what the tag looks like, and it's just, it always has like weird patterns on it. And it sold, like I said, pretty well for me the last time, so I'm going to give it another shot. See what's up with that brand. This was also a good find for $4.50. Uh, less. Less, uh, less 50%. So this one only came out to $2.50. $2.50. Gosh, why don't you show me Oh, what the heck is wrong with this? Okay, well, it was only $2.50. And it is Alice and Olivia, which, a large, which is good. And it's 100% silk. And it's a really super pretty purple. I don't know, I just, I love it. This is so cute. I can't believe I only paid $2.50 for that. That's a steal. This I only picked up because it is new with tags. Um, it's new with tags. And this brand sells okay for me. And it was only $3.50, but as you guys can see, it has like its little tag. It's like ripped though. But it is Torrid, which is plus size. And new tags. And it's really pretty. It has like butterflies and flowers on it. So I figured this was cute for like spring, springtime. Really cute. I think we're almost done, guys. Bear with me. This one. I found this like close to my when I was leaving I was like oh let me just do a quick little round here I didn't look at these long dresses and then I did like a quick little round and I found this dress this is actually the one of the I think the only dress actually this is the only dress I source they don't have like a good selection of dresses I don't know why um, but this is soft joie it's a little hard to spot this one but it is still joie. I definitely want to show you guys this tag but this is joie and it's just like the soft line but it was really cute and I only paid $3.50 for it and it is like a, um, a maxi or almost a maxi, like a midi. Really cute. And I think we are, yeah, we're at the last little guy here. Um, this, oh no, I did. I got two dresses. But the dresses, it gets very overwhelming and people are shoving and I don't really like to be shoved. So I don't think anyone really likes to be shoved. <laughs> But I, I don't like being touched. So, you know, that doesn't work out for me to be shoved. Um, and people are rude, so, you know, i just rather not. But I did pick up this one. And this is Theory, and it was only $3.50, so I swooped it up. And it's a really cute little dress. Um, it's like Empire Waist, has the little drawstrings, really cute. 
and that wraps up my haul you guys but it was a pretty strong haul and i know you guys love when i do these strong hauls so i figured i'm gonna do my strong haul and show everyone what i got so now my cousin will be getting here in 15 minutes part time actually 18 minutes to be exact timed it out really good and um and yeah so i'll have some good inventory to post um thank you guys so much for hanging out with me for a long time because this video is probably really long um and i hope you guys learned some new brands um if you did leave it down below which new brand you learned and please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and i will catch you guys in my next video bye guys